it works something like this. In our first reactor, no matter what the input is, move it over here and make sure that the bottom row is debonded. The next reactors are kind of the same thing. We clean up the single atoms on the bottom, move everything over, make sure this third row here is all unbonded. Similarly, move everything over, and by at this point, everything will be unbonded as it makes its way to this reactor, who drops everything here. Uh, at this point, red kind of sifts through and sees if it's a Greek element, and then these three reactors over here, I'll put them each into their own little tanks. So now with that gone, this atom that's here moves over to this reactor, where red kind of moves it over to the next reactor. We'll go back here in a sec. Where he grabs it, uh, repeatedly splits it down until it's hydrogen and outputs it. The daughter products get fed back into this reactor, where the blue Waldo grabs it, it uh, splits it down into hydrogen, and drops it here, essentially reintroducing it back into the original stream. So now we have any input possible reduced down to a single output of hydrogen, where you can do pretty much anything you want with it, like make, I don't know, water? Sure, water's good, it's probably the most important substance for life. So there you go. There's a recycler that can turn literally anything into water. You can press F1 to stop processing atoms, uh, to deal with the backlog here, which it takes a while to fuse things, or to fission things all the way down to hydrogen. But yeah, there you go. Oh, and please note that recyclers contain a smaller recycler inside of them. My uh, solution's not exactly as space efficient as this one, but what are you going to do?